So let's start the show. Uh, this fabulous duo actually played our last live show here. It's now over a year ago. We're looking forward to having live shows again, but it was um, uh, Sullivan Fortner and Kyla Thade. Sullivan, of course, is a major star on the jazz scene, a Grammy winner, been acclaimed for his solo work as well as uh, for his accompaniment of the fabulous vocalist Cecile McLaurin Salvant. Um, Kyle plays many, many instruments, almost all of the instruments. Uh, tonight he's going to be playing the vibes, and uh, uh, Sullivan and Kyle have been playing together for many years, uh, so they've really uh, got a wonderful communication, musical communication, as you'll hear. So let's give them a warm virtual welcome to Sullivan Fortner and Kyle Athade. Enjoy!
much, ladies and gentlemen, Sullivan Fortner on the piano. That was the uh, title track to our album, which we released just last year, basically a year ago, which was the last time we performed live together here at Piedmont Piano. And the album is called T for Two. You can find it everywhere you listen to music. And uh, the next song is not from the album, but it's a standard that we love very much. This is The Man I Love.
Uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank the, the people who are responsible for you hearing us tonight. First off, Jim Callahan for opening this amazing venue to us. Uh, it's always so fun for us to be here at Piedmont Piano playing, so we're very appreciative for the opportunity. And there's a very dedicated team of people who made sure you knew this was happening. Jordan and Sharmila, who made sure all the Facebook posts and Instagram and all the YouTube stuff is happening. So the fact that you even know we're here to play to listen to us is a big thing. So we appreciate that. And then a uh, big appreciation to Noah Hendricks, the engineer who's recording the audio, recording the video, setting up the whole stream working super hard making sure that I'm actually using a mic correctly, which I don't always know how to do. So we're very appreciative for that too. So it's great to be here playing for you. And we're going to play another song from the album. This is an original of mine. It's called Anime Theme Song. one is from Alice in Wonderland and Sullivan insisted that we play it. Sure did. And so here's Golden Afternoon, all in the Golden Afternoon.
you very much. All in a golden afternoon. Another tune from our album, which is available, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, everywhere, YouTube Play, Google Play. We hope you check it out. T for Two is the album. Another tune from the album, it's another Athade original, but this one is actually written by my dad, Bob Athade, and he and Julia Athade are in the audience tonight. In fact, they are the audience tonight, the live audience. So we appreciate them bringing the applause that we can hear, but we appreciate any applause that you give that we might not hear. Either way, we hope you enjoy this song composed by Bob Athade. This is called Ravenswood. <laughs> Home at Piedmont. <laughs> uh, <boy he> said.
Ravenswood by Bob Thade. You can't see him, but he's here. The composer. Speaking of composers, we have a brand new world premiere for you guys today. And uh, there's only one person in the room who knows the title of this piece. And uh, hopefully he's going to tell us now. Are you talking about my film? Yep. Oh. <laughs> no, I really don't know. I, 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 still, I still don't know. So I'm taking I'm up with a suggestion. Um, but I, you know, I guess I'll say it here. <laughs> yeah. Hi. So I guess um, I wrote this kind of thinking of Chick Corea, um, who we lost. Um, I had pizza with him one time, mm. and um, that was fun. It was on the jazz cruise at Blue Dote, and he told me, man, you got to check out Scarlatti. He was better than Bach. I was like, ah, I don't know about that, but, you know, okay. So, <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, if you have suggestions of ideas of tunes, titles, just let me know. <laughs>
the composer, Sullivan Fortner. Yes. <laughs> that, was, um, that was very difficult for me to learn. Sullivan has, as you, <laughs> as you all, I'm sure, are very aware, he has a very unique uh, harmonic sensibility and comes up with really, really cool sounds that I absolutely love but very often don't understand. <laughs> so in order to play his original composition, and this is the first time we've, I've actually been able to convince him to do one of his originals with our duo. Uh, it's been so fun getting deeper inside his mind. Um, the next tune is probably, it's safe to say he's at least one of both of our favorite jazz composers, if not both of our very favorite. Although as we were talking about it the other day, it's not necessarily the individual tunes that we like so much, just as the whole body of work. And that's of course, Duke Ellington. And every time we're in town, uh, whenever Sullivan is here, I'm always reminded of the Pauline connection, as she called herself. Uh, that's Aunt Camille, Camille Moore. We don't get to say too much about her though, because she doesn't like when we talk too much. So we're just gonna get to playing her favorite song. This is Sophisticated Lady. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That was a sophisticated lady. Uh, we have another world premiere for you. Um, this one is my composition, and it's a sonata-ish, you could call it that. I've been playing, practicing a lot of classical piano lately, trying to get my fingers to work like Sullivan's do, but not there yet. But in the process, I've learned a couple of really great Beethoven sonatas, and they've been very inspirational to me in my compositions. So this is my attempt at a sonata, and it's called Sonata for a Vanishing Child. And the reason it's called that comes from the title of a short story written by my brother-in-law's mother, Janice Bear, my brother-in-law's Eric. And the vanishing child in question is Eric's older brother, Aiden, who passed away in December. And the story is very cute. Aiden would run away, from, like he would kind of disappear looking for cool things that he remembers from the past. And so his family took the train out to the beach but then didn't get to go swimming because there was trash on the beach or something like that. And so he left home on his own when he was something like six years old, got on the train, was headed towards the beach so he could go swimming. Family was looking all over for him, and then they found him, and he was all cheery and happy, like nothing was wrong. And um, he had just a really sweet, gentle way about him. And I didn't get to know him very well because he lives in South Africa, but we talked on the phone on FaceTime a few times. And um, Eric, who is Aiden's brother and my brother-in-law, uh, is just a wonderful person. And how, all of the stories he's told me about Aiden uh, really helped me to feel like I knew Aiden very well. And uh, so this piece is in honor of Aiden. And the first movement t shows him going on the train, trying to get to the ocean. So you should hear the train and you should hear the water. Um, and then the second movement is just very slow and calm and peaceful, and just the way I saw Aiden, especially with uh, our co-nieces, I guess you might say, uh, Eric's daughters, he's just very sweet with Kaya uh, every time he's, I've seen him with her. So the second movement shows that. And then the third movement just shows his really exciting, joyful nature and the way he's just, all the stories Eric's told me about him, he seemed like a very, very fun guy. So this is uh, the Sonata for a Vanishing Child in memory of Aiden Bear.
much. And now for something much lighter, which I'm sure Aiden also would have liked. And I think we all like it. In fact, Bob Thade, again, who is in the audience here, he said, now you guys are going to play a blues, right? <laughs> and, uh, of course, we have to play a blues written by the person who shares my birthday, November 16th. And that's W.C. Handy. So we're going to play St. Louis Blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
St. Louis Blues. Thank you. So we have time for two more tunes. So um, we're going to play one tune by one of our favorite New Orleans, I guess you wouldn't really call him a resident, but he was from there. And then he was the ambassador for the whole world because he just brought beautiful music without any pretense. And of course, that's Louis Armstrong. And he was in a movie with Bing Crosby called High Society. So this is the title track from that movie. This is High Society. And then uh, we'll end with another New Orleans special that I'm sure you'll recognize.
High Society, Louis Armstrong from the movie High Society. You should watch it if you haven't already. Um, one last time, I want to give a big thank you to our live audience here. Julia Thade, my mother, Baba Thade, my father, and the man who mixed, mastered, and did all of the recording for our album, Sean Aledevood, for the album T for Two. So pick it up wherever you get music. And uh, if you already have one, then feel free to donate. There's a link to our PayPal, and we appreciate any support you're willing to give. We have to get Sullivan back to New York somehow. So <laughs> we'll see if we can get him a flight. Uh, but again, a big thank you to Jim Callahan and everyone and Noah, everyone at uh, Piedmont Piano for having us. Always so much fun to play here. The room's amazing. The piano's amazing. Uh, the whole vibe is amazing. So thank you again. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in on YouTube and Facebook. And we leave you with Tiger Rag.
Wow, amazing. Such wonderful virtuosity, inventiveness. Sullivan Fortner and Kyle Athey, thank you so much. So you can show your appreciation. The links are still up if you haven't donated. Please make a donation to these musicians. As we've always uh, said, 100% of everything you donate will go directly to the players that you've just seen on stage and they really need your help right now. So thanks for doing that. So that's all for us for now. We will be back on Sunday with a very exciting show with Natalie Cressman on trombone and Ian Facchini on guitar. If you haven't heard them, be sure and check it out. These are some two, two more very talented musicians, and uh, you won't want to miss that show. Uh, to learn about that upcoming show and any of our upcoming shows, as we said, uh, please go to our website, piedmontpiano.com, where you can sign up for our email list. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram, and uh, sign up, please, for our YouTube channel. Uh, and that way you'll hear about every show that's coming up in the future. Uh, so uh, my name is Jim Callahan for Piedmont Piano Company and for the Showroom Sessions. And my co-producer of the Showroom Sessions is Jordan Perlman, uh, our on-site engineer, the talented Noah Hendricks, and uh, as always, our cameraman extraordinaire, Ted Leahy. So thanks to the crew uh, for doing such a beautiful job on presenting the show. So we hope to see you on Sunday. Until then, we will say so long. <laughs>